Bonjour la communauté de Battlefront et re-bienvenue sur Battlefront FR. Aujourd'hui, le tout premier gameplay de la bataille de Jakku qui vous est révélé à l'instant. Ceci est le live de EA, donc il y aura d'autres gameplays de moi qui va arriver très bientôt aujourd'hui même. Donc restez présents sur la chaîne avant de vous laisser sur ce magnifique gameplay de cette planète qui est gratuite d'ailleurs. Parlons 2-3 secondes du mode qui nous est présenté à l'instant, plaque tournante. Les rebelles doivent prendre les objectifs qui sont disponibles en ce moment sur la carte. Il y en a trois dans la première partie de la carte, comme le plan le démontre. Par la suite, si un seul objectif est capturé par les rebelles, vous passez au suivant dans une autre partie de la carte. Sachez que si les rebelles sont en train de prendre un objectif, il ne pourra pas être repris par l'Empire. En effet, une fois capturé, c'est fini, on passe au suivant. Donc ensuite, vous avez deux objectifs à capturer dans la partie suivante de la map. Encore deux autres dans une autre partie et finalement la bataille finale avec un seul objectif à capturer pour les rebelles à la fin. Donc comment bien jouer ce mode N'hésitez pas à aller à différents objectifs à chaque fois. Si vous n'arrivez pas à attaquer un seul objectif, passez à l'autre juste à côté de lui. Je suis sûr que avec une bonne stratégie, vous pouvez au moins en capturer un. Le but pour les rebelles, c'est justement d'être un peu partout sur le terrain et d'aller capturer en masse un objectif avant que l'Empire n'arrive. Donc voilà, je vous laisse sur le gameplay. Merci beaucoup. On se revoit très bientôt pour la suite de Jakku. Sinon, à bientôt tout le monde et que la force soit avec vous. Ciao. Here's you can see the progress bar on the map. Over here, Alié though, he's looking to pick off a couple players on the uh, left side. Finds one. It's going to be a solid kill for him. Yep. But there you can see, folks. You take over the first point. Those go away. Now two more points in section two are going to pop up. It's going to be played in four waves. Let's see if the Rebels can continue to advance the line forward as Alié is looking to prevent that with the rest of the Galactic Empire. It's definitely going to be a lot more challenging for the Rebels here. They don't have the ATST. That's right, the ATST. And you mentioned before, right, you know, the ATST will actually have to be used in a more defensive manner rather than uh, the offensive. Uh, and another note as well, he's taken a lot of damage here. He only has 55 health remaining. You do have Legacy in that airspeeder. He's actually shooting at him right now. A battle between airspeeder and he wins it. Huge win there for Ghost. Legacy gets Pick off from the sky, and this ATSD has been doing a lot of work. But he has to be mindful of the other air speeder. That's going to be from Kite, and he's going to continue to lay down some more fire. Half health. Can he stay alive long enough here? It's going to suicide oh. run. No, and it's going to be a A2 A280 that will end up picking off that ATST. So uh, Ghost Eye, good job from him uh, for sure. Let's go back over to Alié and see how he's faring. Oh, ended up just getting picked off, but we'll stick with him off of the respawn here and see what he's going to do. Of course, guys, this is uh, you know, one thing I want to point out. No confidence from our two competitors. What's up with that, man? They're too nice to each other. I agree. You know? I agree. I feel like Vic was uh, holding back the punches a little bit. You know, he could have been a little bit more aggressive. Well, he doesn't want to upset the force, clearly. Uh, clear. <laughs> well, one thing to point out, too, is that in the video, Alié was very, uh, you know, he was like, oh, I'm going to take him down. And then on the stage, he kind of held back yeah, a little yeah, bit. You backed know? off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's all good. Of course, uh, it seems like right now they're doing rather well. Uh, no points have been contested so far from the Rebel side. So the Imperial, the Empire is holding this one lovely. Oh yeah, definitely. Time. But they still have to hold it for another five minutes, which could prove, prove problematic. The Rebels managed to get the first line broken pretty quickly. But you had mentioned before okay, here the we turning go. point that you know you have those three points, so it actually gets harder as you progress oh, forward, yeah. right? And looking forward here, Alié can't stay alive. Over to Vicstar now is going to be using that personal shield. To the try Rebels and are attacking forward. here. They are going to hold this. They have actually. Five people in the point right now. Can they use this to their advantage and make this one happen? About halfway point, halfway time for them to be able to secure this capture point. If they just capture one point, folks, that's it. It's a wrap. They will move on to the next sector. 
over to Legacy here. Let's see what's up with him as he's dealing with a bunch of Imperial troopers all around him. But they do have bodies inside of the point. Legacy finding one in front of him. Looking for another one as well in the distance. That's going to be a clear as well. Let's see if they can get more bodies on that point and get this cap going. They have a lot of time, by the way. Three minutes and 57 seconds here, Dennis. And one thing you had mentioned before was that if you, you know, the quicker you cap, the more time you end up getting for your team because that time stacks. Yes, definitely. And you can see it, the Imperials have now He's moved over. It, it can get pretty high. I'm exactly, imagining. exactly. And look at the Empire just completely surrounding it. And uh, that personal shield looking to do some work, but you can't fire with the personal shield out. So he's going to have to wait, get a better position, better vantage point. That ATST, though, that yep. is going to cause a lot of problems if uh, Vicstar and the Rebels are not careful. Yeah, the Imperial Army oh. has just completely switched over to this side. This is the opportunity when the Rebels should switch to the left control point and attack that one instead. We'll see if they manage. Vicstar looking to use the terrain as best as he possibly can. And let's stick with Vicstar here through this life. Can he manage to stay alive? ATST on the move. As you can see, it's defending the point rather than pushing forward. That booming missile Ooh. is just nasty. A kill streak here for Vicstar as well. He is doing work. They're going to push forward. Personal shield in front. But that impact grenade not going to do all that much. Hey, buddy. Gets oh. caught off guard, but somehow manages to stay alive. Let's go over to Allier here as he is looking to also use his uh, EE3, as well as that homing rocket, to be able to do maximum damage to the Rebels and hold them off in this run. They have 2 minutes and 26 seconds left to cap this one, Dennis. This is uh, this is not looking good for the Rebels. They're all holed up in this little spot here, and Allier is just going to pick them off. Yeah, they definitely need to switch sides right now. They have the ATSD. They have the majority of the Imperial Army waiting for them in the capture point. They need to switch sides. And let's see what Allier can do here. More rebels in front, perhaps. They're looking to cause as much uh, damage to that ATSC as they possibly can. And just look at the range that he's getting, though, on that gun. That blaster is serving him real well. And it's Boba Fett. Yeah, right? He, he just can't go wrong with it. No, just definitely not. With it. Let's actually see what's going on with the uh, rebel side here. Back over to Vicstar's POV, as they're going to be the ones on the attack. One minute and 43 go. Go. seconds left. They have bodies on the point, and they have managed to clear it out. You can see the Empire, actually, on the right portion of the map there. So they need to get to this point as soon as they possibly can. You have six bodies on it. They're looking to close this one out quickly. But uh, they only have a minute and 25 seconds left to make it happen. Yep. We'll see if they manage. Now the Imperial Army is slowly moving forward. But, yeah, we'll see. This is a huge opportunity for the Rebels if they're going to be able to secure this one. Oh, man. But there goes the thermal detonator just landing right in front of a Vicstar. Poor guy. Could not stay alive long enough. Over to Kite's perspective here. Now they're moving to the right forward. one again. And yeah. that's smart, right? It's yeah, yeah. You have to, yeah, you have to rotate around them. You have to pick at them and just see where control. you can overwhelm the defensive. Yeah, they have uh, definitely put the Empire on their toes. And just look at this push here. You have six members of the Rebel Alliance advancing. Eight holding down this point here. This could very well be a cap. Here now, comes the Imperial. <laughs> remember, guys, if that timer goes down to zero, but they still have bodies on the point, they will continue to capture it. Will this be the Rebels' day as they fall? Vixar, though, over to him. He is going to get dropped as well. Legacy and the rest of the crew cannot stay alive long enough, but will the rest of the Rebels hold this one down? Because they are so close. 23 seconds left, Dennis. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, just because the time runs out doesn't mean necessarily that the mode ends right there. If there are Rebels on the point, the game will continue until the, the Imperial have overwhelmed them. Well, they only have eight seconds to make this one happen. Will Vicstar and the crew manage to secure that one? They have no one on the point right now. Huge kills, though. One second remaining. And I believe that is going to do it here. Yes, it will. The